Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this is a pen by Ian Schoen. You know I like some Schoen design pens. This one came out at the DC Pen Show and actually uh, Ian gave me this for review and I haven't even inked it up yet because I wanna do that on camera. We'll talk about why here in a little bit. Uh, this is the newest pen in the lineup. This is in the pocket Pla the pocket altum section of the engineered plastics, otherwise known as the small tum, because it's made of altum and it is small, which I love. It's the small tum. The first hundred or so of these will have an octopus glyph right there. You may have been able to score an octopus glyph of your own at the DC Pin Show. These are up on the site now at shownedesign.com. So go check them out. Link, of course, in the description. Tell them I sent you. Just, you know, just to say hi. I won't get you anything, but, you know, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so let's take a look at this pen. Um, this pen was also released in the Smaltum version in the Natural Altum uh, material, which, as you can see, is this sort of amber colored material that has a lot of translucence. You can see there is some ink in the cap because my cat rocketed onto my desk and knocked everything cattywumpus, uh, scattered all the things. Uh, but fortunately, Ultim is nearly impossible to, impossible to stain. Uh, the black, I don't even know how you would tell it was stained. It is so dark. It actually always looks a little bit metallic to me. Just the way that it's finished makes it look like it's, I don't know, um, zirconium or something maybe. It's got those like lines and grooves and stuff that are barely visible and you can't feel them at all. Uh, I think this is a really elegant little pen and so if you don't want something that is sort of demonstratory where you can see the insides, uh, the Smaltum might be the one for you. Okay, so let's take a look at this pen top to bottom and then we'll open it up and then we'll fill it and then we'll compare it to some other pens. That's my plan. At the bottom, screw threads. This is a screw to post pen. It is a pretty small pocket pen. We'll compare it to a bunch of other stuff here in a little bit but once you take the cap off and post it, it is actually the second largest pen that Ian makes at Shown Design and I believe it is the thickest by like a millimeter or so in diameter. So screw threads on the bottom, otherwise unadorned. The top here has a nice chamfer. Looks real good. Very, very nice uh, stuff there. Nothing on the top. You have the shown design at the waist along with the octopus and two little lines here just to sort of break up the flow of the pen and give it a little bit of visual interest, I think. So that's it for the outside. It is, it's a small pen. These are cartridge or eyedropper fill only. It will not fit a converter because you can't fit a converter in this little thing here. You might be able to fit like the teeny tiny converter that you would put in a Lilliput, whoops, but uh, I, I wouldn't bother. I just put a cartridge in there. That little converter is not great. Uh, here you'll see there are some threads. There is a little bit of a gap in here, but uh, you know, it's polished. I think it looks pretty nice. I wouldn't use it this way. It's it's just, it's too small for me. If you have smaller hands than I do, then maybe you can use this unposted. For myself, I will post it. Now, if you look on the inside here, you'll see that there is a very nice looking red O-ring inside there. And that's kind of it. Once you have the cap on here, there's not a whole lot of uh, room for air and that sort of thing in there, which is nice. It'll keep your nib wet. But there is plenty of room if you want to uh, put a number eight section on here and throw a number eight uh, like Bach nib or some other kind of crazy thing in this pen. You can totally do that. And the sections are interchangeable with the other engineered plastic sections, like from the Altum and the Peak and that sort of thing. I suppose it would probably be, probably be interchangeable with the metal pins as well, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I just I wouldn't want to put the, the the metal threads in. I don't think it would be great for it. I just wouldn't do that. But if you want to have like a peak section in here, that would look pretty cool, I think. So you have an O ring in here that keeps any ink that gets from in the cap from coming out of the pen, and also it gives you a very nice feeling closing. Like this is a good. This is this is up there with the better uh, better screw posts or screwing um, screw on caps that that I have. I really like the feel of this one in uh, in bronze. This feels this feels great, just just super good. And I think this is I think this is this is just as nice. Okay, uh, so here you'll see it is a full on number size number six size Yovo nib here. You can get these in lots of different sizes, and you can order them in uh, gold if you'd like to upgrade that. Of course, for an extra fee, extra 120 bucks, I believe gold nibs from Yovo ain't cheap. Opening up the section here, and this is why I want to do this before I fill the pen. I'm going to eyedropper this thing because I've been afraid to, and people are like, no, man, give it a try. And so I'm going to. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it here, here on camera if all goes well. Down here, you'll see there are lots and lots of threads here. 
ink is going to have to work to get through all those threads and also past this o-ring right here uh, on the inside here you'll see there's nothing it's clean and ready to go in here you open it up you'll see there are going to be more o-rings because ian really does not want this to leak if you have it eyedroppered more o-rings if you dislodge those o-rings they are a bit of a pain in the butt to uh, get back into place but if you contact ian he will help you out with that and then down there you'll see there's a little there's a little nipple thing in there if you put a cartridge on it all right so let's go ahead and try to fill this and then we'll look at it next to a bunch of other pens i'm a little nervous about this i'm gonna have this octopus help me yeah perfect okay um now i'm nervous that i'm not going to be able to see uh, how much ink is in here when I'm filling it. I'm gonna use a blunt tipped syringe. This has a ridiculously long uh, nose on it, but you know, it's what I have, so it's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna fill it with Laban Athena Gray because I don't usually go matchy matchy, but I don't know, it's got an octopus on it. I feel like octopus would have ink. I'm not, I don't really wanna put my one sample of Hakase uh, like full on sepia in there, so we're just gonna use this gray. It's a very, very dark gray and I think it'll work okay. All right, now this will hold 1.7 milliliters reportedly. Now, hopefully I will be able to stop before I hit the threads. Okay, I can see the ink shining back at me. How are we doing? Right there. Oh. Hmm. Any more light? Black ink in a black pen is, uh, let's see. Oh, I got plenty more room. I actually should have put more ink in here. Oh, there we go. I had almost the perfect amount of ink. Okay, so that is filled up. Now we just need to put the section back on. Now, if you don't care about, um, you know, getting a little ink on the threads, and you probably shouldn't if you're not me, then uh, I wouldn't worry about this at all. I would just go ahead and just put some ink in there. Or if you have, um, if the only thing that could possibly happen is a little ink comes out of the threads here. That's it. All right. Right and tight. Now, if you are uh, a person who wants to make sure that you are doing this as safely as possible when eyedroppering, You'll want to add a little bit of silicone grease to those uh, those interior threads. I didn't. I'm living dangerously, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is the kind of silicone grease that you're going to want, which is it is a sort of, um, I don't know, it's almost like petroleum jelly or something. It's very thick, and a little bit goes a long way. You can see the little gouges in there from toothpicks because uh, that, you just need like a tiny bit on the threads, and you don't want to get it on your feet or anything because it will, it will work very well to stop liquid transfer. Now this, mine is really old. I got this from a scientific lab ages ago. This is Dow Corning high vacuum grease. This is uh, just pure silicone. You just want 100% silicone grease. That, that's it. It is incredibly stable. Stable from minus 40 to plus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Insoluble, non-toxic, doesn't oxidize. It's uh, This stuff is pretty amazing. So uh, hooray for silicone grease. But that's what you want, not the kind of oil stuff that you'll get sometimes for lubricating pistons. That's not what you want. You want the grease kind. Okay, so now that we have a little, we have, we have this full of ink. This is like uh, two mils of ink, give or take. Eh, a little bit less than two mils. Throw the measurements up here as we uh, clear some space and get ourselves ready for some comparisons. Hold tight. Okay, there we go. Uh, so here we have the. Uh, this is a Kaveco Sport. Look at this little. Look at this little bird that Audrey got. This is hand painted. I love it. Uh, this is a Gravitas pocket pen. This is the Smalltum pen right here. This is a Spoke Axle S, which is a small version of that axle. And then here, uh, I just threw this in here just for reference. This is the full size Ultum pen. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here instead. This is the anniversary pen, which is a pocket pen. This isn't really a pocket pen, so I don't think it really belongs. Uh, but this anniversary pen totally is and can absolutely be a fountain pen if you wanted to. Okay, so you can see that uh, pocket size that is completely uh, capped, it is shorter than all of these by just a little bit. Just sort of a hair's breadth here uh, and a bit more on some of these other ones. Now let's go ahead and take the caps off and look at them unposted and then I'll post them just for uh, comparison's sake. So uncapped and unposted, it is still the smallest by a fair amount compared to any of the rest of these. I really like this trend of putting full size number six nibs in a pocket pen. And I want to say Ian might have been the first one to do that. And uh, other people are like, yeah, no, that looks great. And so I've taken up that trend. Let's go ahead and post these and see how they look. 
Okay, you'll notice that I have the rollerball section here on the anniversary pen. Uh, that's okay. I just didn't put the I just didn't put this section on there. But otherwise, it's going to be the same. So this is longer. This is the longer. This is the longest one of the pens that Ian makes. Then we have the this is the anniversary ballpoint rollerball fountain pen, whatever section you put up here. This is the spoke axle S, the small tum in black, the gravitas pocket pen, and uh, the Kaveco Sport, which has, as you can see, a teeny tiny little nib compared to the rest of these. Right? It's so little. Uh, this is uh, just as long as this Gravitas one, and just a little bit shorter than this. If we put one of these over here for comparison instead, we'll see that it is actually in the hand longer and uh, thicker than the regular uh, engineered plastic Ultim, uh, natural Ultim pen, which I think is interesting. This is a pocket pen, but it's actually pretty darn big. It's actually a millimeter wider here uh, in diameter than the regular Ultim. So if you want something a little bit more uh, in the hand, this is a little bit more by about a millimeter, which doesn't sound like much, but when it's diameter, it kind of, can, it kind of is. Okay, so let's put these back together. So in the hand, this is a very comfortable pen. I haven't gotten around to using it. This is kind of a first look, but from having used uh, the Pocket 6, which is the smaller uh, version of this, this is the this is sort of the original pen that um, Ian was known for in the fountain pen community. The Pocket 6 is a lot smaller than the Smalltum, which is kind of funny, right? But the Smalltum is not the smallest pen at all. It's one of the bigger pens uh, in the lineup. But it does have a larger diameter for the section, which I like quite a lot. Uh, it's like at least a millimeter bigger on the Smalltum than it is on the Pocket 6. So if one of your complaints about the Pocket 6 is it's just a little bit dainty in the hand, I do kind of wish that this was a little bit bigger. Uh, this is this is this is good stuff. I really like this, and I really like using the engineer plastic pens. So I think this is going to be great. And being awesome, this cap just doesn't weigh anything at all, and so it's actually very comfortable. Let's see if this is ready to write yet. I went ahead and got a, a fine nib on here because for a pocket pen, I often want to have a finer nib. No, it's not quite ready to write yet. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of thought it might not be. Let's go ahead and dip it. Give that ink some 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 uh, place to travel. There we go. Sometimes you gotta tell ink where it needs to go. Where it needs to go is from the inside of the pen out to the nib. Just like using a cartridge, if you don't prime this, it'll be a little bit, it'll take longer to get started. There we go. Actually, this is a nicer gray than I thought it was gonna be. When I did my swatch, this was very, uh, very, very dark, but I think uh, out of a nib, especially a fine nib, it's gonna be a nice gray. All right, so we're gonna have our octopus smaltum writing in a very nice gray. I'm looking forward to getting uh, some some mileage on this pen, and uh, it feels it feels really good in the hand. This is this is good stuff. It's a great length, good width. It's a, it's got very little weight to it. At uh, what does it say? Um, yeah, point, point 0.4 ounces or 11 grams. It just really doesn't weigh much at all. Let's see what it weighs with ink in it. Actually, that's the dry weight. There we go. 13 grams. So I've added two grams of, uh, of ink weight to this pen. So 13 grams. Yeah, not very many grams. This is a very light pen. So uh, in comparison, <laughs> this is the Gravitas pen in brass at 59 grams, which is very thick. Uh, the anniversary pen in uh, aluminum at 26 grams. So extremely light pen. Let's just go ahead and do the other Altum. There we go. 15 grams. So it's lighter than this one too, probably because it doesn't have the converter and that's adding just a little bit of weight to it. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and made you uh, hungry to have an octopus on your pen. Also, the octopus and the nib lineup. I like that. I never even noticed that before. It's good. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this and will uh, go and check out what he and Ian has on his page. He's good people and uh, let him know I said hi. I really like his pens. Uh, this one is a little bit on the pricier end of the spectrum because of materials and all that jazz. Uh, as it said here, this is 240 to 250 bucks depending on material and you can add more for a gold nib if you want gold. So uh, it is a little bit on the pricier end of the spectrum. This is not an impulse buy sort of pen. But uh, as with all of my Ian pens that I have uh, that I have here, um, I, I like it a whole lot, and I I think it's worth it. So um, there you go. That's it. I'll uh, y'all see me in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.